So whenever I think of Super Mario Brothers 3, I instantaneously remember the time I watched the film The Wizard, or borrowed an NES for the weekend just so I could play the game for the very first time. And how could you possibly ever forget about the bright, vibrant yellow outer casing cardboard shell that encased a game that was memorable, challenging, fun, and a game that just kept on giving. Especially if you're digging for secrets and some of which I never even knew existed before tackling this episode. Number one. Super Mario Bros. 3 is a reasonably large and lengthy game, but there are three secret locations that all contain the awesome warp whistles, allowing either Mario or Luigi to whisk themselves away to other worlds. The first is found in World 1-3, whereby standing on the white block towards the end of the level and holding down for a few seconds will allow Mario to drop down behind the scenes, then exit the stage to enter a secret area where a chest contains the whistle. Another is also tucked away in World 1's Fortress where, just before exiting the initial room, Mario has enough space to fly up towards the ceiling, land on the platform above and discover a separate room which concealed the second whistle. While the third and final object lurked in an enclosed area of World 2 where in the top right hand corner you could break the rock by obtaining a hammer after defeating the boomerang brother that trots around the map. And it is here that a mushroom house appears and a pair of fire brothers whom are guarding the last whistle. Number two. I have always enjoyed entering mushroom houses plus spade panels that scatter the lands as they help to break up the game, plus you can gain extra lives and additional items, but there are other secret mushroom houses that appear and only if you collect a certain amount of coins on particular levels, including on World 1 Level 4, where by banking 44 coins throughout the stage, a secret blue house turns up as you rejoin the map, dishing out a P-Wing, and there are six other houses spread over the other worlds worlds offering up either P-Wings or Anchors. Number 3 this next segment is more of a fact than a secret, but it is interesting to note that World 3's Waterland theme tune is a remixed version of what would become the fairy fountain music used for the first time in The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, which came out several years later. It must also be noted that both were created by the same composer, and here's a little comparison. Number 4 Upon defeating any of Bowser's Kooplings and gathering up the magic wands stolen from the Mushroom Land Kings, they will always reel off the same spiel of, oh thank heavens I'm back to my old self again, thank you so much, here is a letter from the princess. Though if you were to beat any of the bosses while still wearing the frog suit, hammer suit or the tanuki suit then, the king in question will reel off three different passages, as for the frog attire he will say, oh me, oh my, you've been transformed, shall I change you back with this wand? And as for the Tanuki suit, the message is, Thank you, kind raccoon. Please tell me your name. While the best one rolls out while sporting the hammer suit. Hey you, how about lending me your clothes? No dice? What a drag. Number 5 so throughout your time playing Super Mario Bros. 3, you may have at least once come into contact with the secret treasure ship that would emerge after completing a level. The treasure ship, or coin ship as they are also known, allows us to indulge in a wealth of coins and an extra life in a brief battle with the Hammer Brothers in question. But what exactly are the factors into activating one of these ships? Well, first, they can only appear during levels 1, 3, 5 and 6, and there must be a Hammer Brother upon the map. The next step is to enter any level within these worlds and collect coins so that the count registers multiples of 11, as in 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66, and so on. Next, the second digit in from the right on the score counter, so the 10 digit must be the same as the multiple of coins you have collected so far. For example, if you have 22 coins, the number must be 2. For 33 coins, then it would be 3. When these two steps are set, run to the end of the stage 
page and hit the card so that the last digit on the timer is an even number. And if you have met all these requirements, the treasure ship will appear. And if you're wondering what the Japanese character represents on the ship, well, it means treasure. Number six. One of my favorite aspects of Secrets is the fact that the development team hid clever features throughout the actual maps, as for example, in World 7, Pipeland plays out over three small islands, all shaped as green warp pipes. If you head back to the secret area in Desert Land where the magic whistle is concealed, a series of waterways are connected that are shaped as a Roman numeral of the number three. In Giant Land World 4, the whole area is shaped like a Koopa Trooper, though spotting this is actually hard to see as it requires piecing the map together. But it's in World 3 where the most awesome secrets lay as there is an island only accessible by boat, home to two mushroom houses and two spade spaces which is shaped as a mushroom, though when you reach the castle, fire a warp pipe to the east of the land, it is situated amongst four islands that are positioned in exactly exactly the same layout as the islands of Japan. It also happens that the castle is in the same spot as the city of Kyoto, the location of Nintendo's headquarters, and it is also in this particular castle that the king looks incredibly like Mario. Number seven. And to conclude our episode, we'll head to World 2 and Level 5, but rather than carrying out the stage, have you ever just stood around and watched the Chain Chomp jump on its chain for 50 times? Well, why would you? But if you do, then this is what will happen. Hey everyone, this is James, and if you ever want to know what else I get up to, then you can always find and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you're new to the channel, then why not subscribe and become part of the journey as we explore secrets, Easter eggs, and glitches every single week. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.